Hey there, listeners. I am Joanne Lee Cornish, your truth bomb dropper in the world of weight loss, body composition, and mastering the art of rocking the body you've always deserved and dreamed of in midlife and beyond. Let's cut through the noise. Society tells us it's downhill from now on. We're told to embrace the middle age weight gain, embrace the muscle loss and poor health. If that's your vibe, then cool. But if you're ready to defy the narrative, then I am your gal. This podcast is a no fluff podcast where we break down the essential truths of body composition, toss around some practical tips and dissect the latest trends. I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm here to show you what's not just possible, but downright probable for you. If you enjoy this content, be sure to click the link in the show notes to explore how we can team up and kick mediocrity to the curb. I offer one-on-one coaching, my ever popular group coaching programs, and my corporate Educate to Elevate program. Okay, let's get on with the podcast. Enjoy. Do quick fix diets work? Well, I would say yes, although I know we're led to believe that they're hocus pocus and nonsense, but I would argue there is a value to a quick fix diet. And one of the benefits of a quick fix result period is there's nothing more motivating than results. You think of any product, it tries to give you immediate results because that makes you feel great and that kind of hooks you into the process. I mean, you want to read a book, they're not going to wait till half, for halfway through the book to get good. They're going to try and get you in the first few pages. Um, um, a product, to make anything, they're going to try, a movie, they're going to try and get you in the right at the beginning. They're not going to delay that. And the same goes for um, weight loss programs. Um, they're going to try and get a quick result, very, very, uh, a result very, very quickly, because then that motivates you and there's nothing wrong with that. The issue with quick fix diets are, for one, if they're really unbalanced, we're going to talk about that. And if they don't give you the information on how to continue. So the the quick fix diet, like the, gosh, what is the one where it's the honey and lemonade and something like that. You just drink it. What's it called again? Um, and people lose a lot. They don't. They don't eat anything. They just drink this, you know, lemonade and honey or whatever it is, or cayenne pepper, and they drop an astounding amount of weight. And or you know, it's marketed under being a cleanse. Okay, I I actually did the math on that cleanse once. It was something like eleven hundred calories because of all the lemonade and sugar. And I'm thinking, wouldn't you rather eat? But anyway, whatever. Um, but but there's a good example. Amazing results, huge results, and absolutely no maintenance plan, no instruction of like how to continue once you've done your 10 days just drinking fluids or something. That That's my issue. Um, I can go back to a, a story of mine back in, oh, gosh, I don't know, probably 15 years ago. And a doctor was doing the HCG diet and he was making thousands of dollars a month off each patient. And he was injecting with HCG and putting on a 500 calorie a day diet. And they lost a lot of weight. Shocker. Shocker. On HCG and you eat 500 calories a day and you lost weight, well, of course you're losing weight. Well, that's all great. But he came to me and he's like, hey, Joanne, can I send my patients to you for the maintenance? I'm like, hold on just a hot second. So you're making thousands of dollars of these people and all they do is visiting you once a month and you shoot them up with this and tell them to eat 500 calories a day. Then you're going to send them to me and I'm going to charge them a fraction of that And I'm going to have to invest all my time and all my coaching to try and fix the mess? Like, absolutely not. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, But I do indeed have my own quick fix diet. I have the Peak Week 5-Day Shred. And on my Peak Week 5-Day Shred, I get amazing results. It used to be my pre-contest diet. I've been doing it for, I mean, 30 years. I, I mean, more than 30 years, honestly, because it was my own diet. It has been used hundreds of times. It, it's been used for competitions. It's been used for weddings, uh, reunions, Vegas pool parties, post-pregnancy, um, reset diet, bikini diet. It has various names. But basically, any time that somebody needed a, a quick reset, um, maybe for a special event or a special occasion or just to get back on track, 
then I've used my five day peak week shred and the weight loss on average is seven to 10 pounds. A lot of people lose more than that. It depends on their starting point. I mean, the record is two guys have tied at 16 pounds and the least is like four pounds, but I think she only weighed like 115 or something. So, you know, if you're a smaller person going in, you get a, you know, obviously you're going to get a smaller result. Um, but why do I, in good standing, have a five day shred? Isn't a shred or a five day challenge just um, false hope and, and not being quite authentic to my work? No, it's actually not. Because what I do with my program is I coach the bejesus out of these people. So it's a one week program. It's a five day diet. And I do four coaching calls. Not pre-recorded, I do four coaching calls. They are recorded if people can't make the call, but I am completely 100%, 100% available to my clients doing the program. Now, this is where you can turn a quick fix diet into something very useful and uh, motivating for people because in, I'll explain how the diet works in a second, but in those five days, the, the, the victories go way beyond the scale. Obviously, people are going to lose weight. That's a, that's a given. But it's the mental reset. They do something hard, but not that difficult. And people feel great when they finish the program. They accomplished it. But also, um, I've seen people's high blood pressure come into the normal range. People's uh, resting heart rate drop by you know, 10, 20 points even more. People's skin glowing, their energy through the roof, their digestion. Oh, my heartburn's gone away. All these non-scale victories and highly, highly motivated to continue. And then I offer, you know, for one, I coach them on how to continue. And there's an optional option, uh, an optional option. There's an option of continuing on to one of my other programs. But this is how it works. So most quick fix diets are pretty extreme Definitely not sustainable, but pretty extreme, like the cayenne lemonade honey diet. I mean, that's that's pretty extreme. Or the I'm not going to name names, but the other one where you chew on a pill and you, I mean, come on now. Or the one where you just drink this juice and it's full of fiber, like that's hard. Or it's going to be one where they're going to put you in a sauna with a sweat vest on, or they're going to make you do two hours cardio a day, or they're going to, you know, just make you like suck on fish or something for a week. All of those are very difficult. Mine is not. So the Peak Week 5-Day Shred, and although it sounds like I'm plugging this program, which I am, but I'm, but it, not really because today is January the 15th and the Peak Week Shred starts on Monday. So by the time you're hearing this, it's probably already started and I only run it twice a year. But watch out for next time. Um, This is how it works. So Facebook banned me from advertising for posting my results. Instagram keep warning me not to post my before and after pictures. Um, un unbelievable because apparently I'm shaming people and it's not realistic, but it's the truth. On average, people lose seven to 10 pounds, some more, some a lot more, some a little less. And visually, the difference is huge. Remembering, of course, this was my pre-contest diet, so I didn't really care what it did for me on the scale. I wanted it to work visually. So again, when I started selling this program, it was because, hey, if there's something that you want to look your absolute best for, give me five days. You know, so obviously it was used for a lot of weddings, reunions, um, photo shoots, movies, things like that. But this is how it works. So right now you're probably thinking, oh, that sounds unbelievable. That's nonsense. Um, now I don't trust this girl anymore. I used to think she was pretty intelligent, but now she's selling some hype. Well, no, listen on, because this is how it works. In the Peak Week 5-Day Shred, I use highly digestible foods. So if, when people first look at the program, they're like, oh, this is super straightforward and very easy because the devil's in the details. They don't see the nuances. I use very digestible foods, the re even to the point where I use some vegetables and I don't use others. It's very specific. The reason being is a lot of people have a lot of weight going through them. So food can take, you know, for some people it's a day, for some people it's five or six days for food to travel through them. So you get somebody and they're feeding, eating food that's got a little slow transit time. Maybe it's processed, low in fiber, high in sugar. It is like sludge going through them. 
And if it takes five days for food to pass through that person, and that is why the program is five days, then give me five days and I can get all that through food them through them and I'm replacing that food with highly digestible food, which isn't getting backed up in their system. So I'm not saying these people are constipated. They've just got a lot of food going through them. And in the five days of the program, that goes through them. Um, right there, that can take inches off a person's waist. Inches. Uh, and that's also why the guys get the, the big guys get the best result. The, the tie is 16 pounds. It was that all fat? Of course it wasn't all fat. Are they big guys? Yeah. Did they have a lot of food going through them when they started the program? Probably so. So right there, you get a lot of weight gone. Um, digestion feels a lot better. Um, that's why the heartburn goes away, things like that. Oh my gut, stomach's never felt so good. I hear things like that. Um, and it can take inches off the waist. Even to the point of the vegetables I use, so I won't get into it into this this podcast, but it's quite astounding that eating the wrong, wrong vegetables can really create kind of a little bloatiness, a little fluffiness that can add legit, you know, measurement, literally, literally mass, not mass, um, um, thickness, let's say, um, to your arms, legs, and especially to your to your belly. So that's one of the ways the, the five day peak week shred works. The second is water weight. Now, before you roll your eyes, I get so sick of this. Oh, it's just water weight. Okay, so let's diminish water weight. But excess water weight, for one, is dangerous. You know, it can put your blood pressure up. Um, but for two, it looks worse than fat. Water weight sits under the skin. Um, and if it's sitting under the skin, it's rolling over your jeans. It's, your rings are tight. Your socks are tight. Your clothes are tight. It's heavier than water, meaning that if you get a bucket full of water and a bucket full of fat, the bucket full of water will weigh more. So it weighs more than fat. It feels heavy and it's it's causing those rolls just like fat does. It looks just like fat. And unlike fat, water doesn't have a patterning to it. What I mean by that is fat patterning. We all know what our fat patterning is. Like if I gain fat, I know where it's going. If you gain fat, you know where it's going. But you gain water and it's all over. It's in your eyeballs. It's in your, you know, it's, your head swells, your rings are tight, your socks are tight. You're just all bloated with water. So if the average person is walking around with 7% of their body weight being in excess water weight, not critical water weight, excess water weight, what's wrong with getting rid of that? That's You could instantly get rid of a lot of excess weight by getting rid of excess water. I'm talking excess, not critical. There is no dehydration in this diet, none. Excess. And then, of course, the fat loss. The, the, the program is designed to allow for uh, lipolysis, which is the liberation of fat cells from the fatty acids, from, sorry, from the fat cell into the blood. So you basically, you cre we create a... Um, an environment that allows stored fat to be released and then you're in a deficit, so you lose body fat as well. I don't need to use exercise in this week. In, in, in fact, I don't even encourage it. Uh, I just encourage people to, to whatever they're doing right now, stay on that. It's not the week to go add, adding an exercise routine. It literally doesn't matter to me if you're burning off a couple of hundred calories doing something. Don't need that. I'll, I'll get the result without that. Don't need that. So now if you think about that, Highly digestible food, getting rid of food in transit, um, getting rid of excess water weight, which can be 7% of your body weight now. So right now I could be carrying six pounds of excess water weight um, and losing some fat. I don't think that's a bad thing. Now, the next question is, is the weight coming back? Maybe. Depends on how you behave afterwards. The last time I did the shred... My husband lost 12 pounds and then it was his sole mission in life to gain back that 12 as quickly as possible. And I think the next day he went out and had pancakes and he had a donut and he completely, he's the hardest client. And he gained the 12 pounds back. Well, why did he do that? Well, for one, he ate foods that he knows, he knows that that's going to be a problem for him to move that food through him. He knows any bread, bread, any products, Kevin doesn't work well with those. So right then, that food he put in him is going to take a little while to come through. So there was that. He also caused um, a massive insulin response, which is going to make him retain water. So he gained the weight back. He then came down a little bit a few days later, but he, he didn't initially gain the weight back. 
I can only coach so many people. I tell you, I can't coach my husband. But other people, other people, um, a bit of the water comes back. So they blip up and then they kind of come down again. And so they, they end up you know, getting a couple of pounds, but they still have a really good result. And other people don't gain any of it back. Now, in the program, the difference being to a lot of the other quick fix diets is I tell people what to do. You know, I coach them on weight loss so they're not left high and dry after the program. They also have the option of continuing on to one of my other programs where I can really, really explain, you know, weight loss and body composition to them, but I don't leave them high and dry. But what they do have is... Um, a lot of people think their body's stuck. I mean, oh, it's stuck. My body's broken. There's, there's something wrong with my body. And then I do pee creak and like, yeah, your body's not broken. There you go. Um, so that, that weight loss is very inspiring. And for some people, it's a new belief in like, oh, wow. Wow, my body actually can drop weight. Yes, it can. Um. So I give them a plan. I explain why it works so well. Hopefully after me just giving that very simple explanation. Now, you know, losing seven to 10 pounds doesn't seem that unbelievable, does it? It's actually expected. I mean, why wouldn't you lose that much weight? Um, other questions that come up, can I stay on the Peak Creek Shred? No, 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 you don't stay on the Peak Creek Shred. People always want to do that. No, you don't need to. You don't need to do that. Um, some people do it once a month. That's great. Some people just wait for me to come around and coach it. That's great. But it is a great morale booster and it is a great mental and physical reset. I say mental reset because for one, it's we get great results and we're motivated. Um, two, it boosts our belief system, our, our self-efficacy. You know, we we believe that we we have we can do what is necessary. Um, and also the mental reset that comes with certain times of the year. Like I always run this program third week in January because, oh my gosh, we've had all the whole holiday season. Everything has gone off track and people need a hard reset. They don't need a, they, they're more likely to want the hard reset than the going into the sustainable weight loss with, um, you know, slow results at the beginning. They need, they need a reset. They need a mental hard re-entry and that's kind of what I give them so quick fix diets I am if people if it's if it's a if it's a challenge but it shouldn't be too difficult because that's just setting people up to fail I think the worst thing that happens on my program is people probably get bored so if, if it's if it's doable obviously it's going to be a discipline it's going to be it's going to be a challenge but it shouldn't be an unrealistic challenge. You know, you can't ask people to chew on a tablet for a month or whatever that one is. Um, so if it's a program that is hardcore, but it's doable, bit of a stretch, but doable. If it's a program that offers support and just doesn't leave you high and dry by yourself with a piece of paper to do a program, which is a bit challenging, you kind of need some support there. So if it's, if, if it's a supported program and also, and most importantly, if it educates people on how to continue, then I have no problem with a quick fix diet, none whatsoever. So that's my Peak Week Five Day Shred. Um, if you are listening to this before January the 21st, which is the 15th now, uh, jump on in, www five day shred the number five day shred. Uh, I only run this program twice a year. So um, if you missed this one, come into a later one. What I what I want to do with this program is I want to coach the bejesus out of people. So it's an opportunity for me to showcase what I do, my coaching style. And so I coach people. I, I hold people's hands and I coach them through this program. They see what I, I do, how I coach, and then I hope they're inspired to follow me into another program but at least they see what I do and at a lower price point. So there isn't such a great financial commitment. So that is what I would, that is what I would advise you. If you see a quick fix diet or something that offers very instant rapid results, you don't necessarily have to shy away from it. You don't necessarily have to not believe it, but just take a cluck, a cluck, a cluck, a look, cluck, a cluck, a cluck, a look, a closer look, cluck, 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 a closer look. 
and look at the problem. It's like, is it doable? Is it, is it, you know, not necessarily sustainable, but is it realistic to follow? You know, if it's saying do three hours cardio a day with 500 calories, probably don't do that program. Um, if it's saying, um, you know, go sit in a sauna with a sweat vest, probably don't do that program. But if it looks like it's um, it's a, a it's a bit of a stretch, it's a hard reset, but it's doable, then okay. If it's some it's it's a program that offers you support and education, then great. And if it shows you a way of moving forward after the program, then fantastic. If it doesn't show you those three things, then yeah, it's just a money grab. Quick fixes. I have nothing against them. We always want them to work. And in some cases, they can work. There is nothing more motivating than results and immediate results. That's what we like. And with the right guidance, that's what we can Thanks get. for hanging out with me today. I trust I sparked your interest, provided a nugget or two of wisdom, and armed you with something practical for immediate use. If you've got burning questions or specific topics that you'd like me to tackle, check out the show notes for ways to reach out. Until next time, stay curious. If you've enjoyed this content, be sure to click the link in the show notes to explore how we can work together. And please go to www.theshrinkshop.com.